Hello, my name is Colton Schaefer, and I'm going to present my game, which is Race Against Mother Nature. It is a co-op game, up to four players, and then I'm doing tutorial video how to play it. In this game, you're survivors of an unnatural weather disaster, but the next weather disaster will be bigger. And you guys have to escape this weather disaster within a month. So, in this game, you guys must work together and survive before the next big weather disaster comes and it's game over. Hello, I will be presenting my game components. I have right here is my game board, and I also We'll bring out the other necessary components for this game. I have right here are two six-sided dice and one four-sided dice. Flag markers. Two cards. The smart lock cards are the ability cards and the larger cards will be the disaster cards that come with the game. I also have the special ability cards as well. Calendar cards. And your play pieces. I know they're amiibos, but I'm going to get some more, you know, legitimate play pieces in time. Which, they will not be these amiibos. They'll be the cars, at least. Because that's what I'm trying to go with an overall theme, is cars. So yeah. These are all my components for the game, and I will start the setup. Now, <clears throat> the setup. First, we are going to set up the disaster cards, and ability cards, the ability cards, smaller cards, and the disaster cards, the larger cards, to separate piles face down so no one can see what they're drawing next is to get the flag markers set them aside the right next to the start space grab the dice throw them in the middle Present this four special cards. Put these in the middle. And place these calendar cards right here. Put your player pieces on the start space. And here's how you set up. Now that the game is set up, I will do the rules. The game is up to four players. Players roll the highest number to see who goes first. And each player from the beginning get to draw two ability cards from the ability stack and pick one special card. Now, the special cards let's see, are used to avoid certain spaces. 
say for instance if you have the snowball ability you can avoid the snow spaces and the mud ability to avoid mud spaces, rain spaces, and tree spaces. So each player will have to pick one and so forth. And these flag markers right next to the play pieces are used to keep track of how many laps have you went around the game. That's right. You're going around this game board four laps. Everyone has to complete four laps before the month is up. Or else you guys will, well, I'll lose. And that would suck. So, players need to make four laps around the chat before the month is up. So, players will use ability cards to increase their moving effort or get them out of tight spaces or trade cards or sacrifice one of their ability cards to roll an extra roll for one of your teammates that are behind. Now, spaces. I will talk about that in a little bit. Oh, I almost forgot. You need to use the calendar cards to keep track of how many days have passed. So, you guys, or the game, you have at least one month to make it around the track in four laps. So, a day passes when everyone moves. So just get a marker or pencil, mark out the one, and the day passes once everyone's made their turn. Simple. Just need to keep track. Now, I'm going to go over the ability cards and disaster cards. Now, the ability cards are right here are the smaller deck over here to my left, and the disaster cards are to my right, which is the larger deck of cards. Now, the ability cards are used to affect everyone or to stop a disaster card from happening, or it just affects you only, and only you alone. And you can only hold up to two ability cards, and you can play more than one at a time, whenever, not just your turn. You could probably play on your teammate's turn, or someone else's turn. The ability cards can be used whenever. Now the disaster cards. Same thing with the ability cards. These disaster cards could affect everyone, or just you, in a way. For instance, if I were to draw this ability card right here. Nah. Boost card, move one space. That just means it's probably going to just be you. You move one space. So, And once you use this card, put it in a discard pile out of the game, for instance, you could probably put it right here, and if I draw a disaster card, if I land on a question mark space, opposite day, all players move backwards for one day, and a card something like this that says move back for one day stays in effect for one day, so you're going to leave a disaster card on here, or the ability card right in front of you to see how long the effect will last. And so, opposite day, everybody moves backwards. So, that stinks. Okay, so we're gonna go with the actions when it comes to your turn. Now, the actions. You may either roll a dice, trade cards with your teammates, discard an ability card for an extra roll for a teammate, or use an ability card whenever. Basically, you know, you can use it on your turn or someone else's turn. You can use the cards whenever. So, you basically have four actions to do. Pretty simple and straightforward. Now, to get flag markers, players need to make it around the track. and reach 
all the way back to the start space, or at least past the start space. And that player will grab a flag marker from the pile, from the flag marker pile, and grab a flag marker. You got your first lap done. Simple. Keep it near you all the time so you can remember what lap you're on. So, it goes on and so forth and so forth. Once everyone gets four flag markers, you guys win the game. Now, there is one penalty in the game. Players need to use the ability cards at least two or more for every five days. Now, I know that's going to be hard to keep track of. If not, that player specifically will not be able to use any ability cards for the next two days. So, whoever has the calendar card needs to keep track of that. Or you can keep track of yourself so that way the calendar person who's keeping track using the calendar card won't have to remember so many things to keep track. I think it'd be better if you guys were together to remember to keep track of things. Well, that is the end of my video. Thanks for watching. Bye!